judge put a pause on part of Idaho's near total abortion ban hours before it was supposed to go into effect. As of midnight tonight, almost all abortions in the state of Idaho will be illegal. But there was a certain section of Idaho's ban which caught the attention of the Biden administration. So they sued the state of Idaho and asked for an injunction. That's the part a judge agreed was a problem, the part of that law, and it conflicted with a federal health care law. Idaho's near total abortion ban says every person who performs or attempts to perform an abortion commits the crime of criminal abortion. It allows for few exceptions in cases of incest or rape reported to law enforcement or where the doctor determined in good faith an abortion was necessary to prevent the death of the pregnant woman. The U.S. Department of Justice claims that last clause, the death of the pregnant woman, is too narrow and violates the Federal Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, or EMTALA, which requires anyone needing emergency medical treatment get it, including a pregnant woman. The DOJ lawsuit hinges on the fact Idaho's law provides no exception for the health of the mother, only her imminent death. In Wednesday's ruling, U.S. District Judge Lynn Windmill agreed and put a pause on just that part of Idaho's trigger law until the lawsuit runs its course through the courts. Meaning, an Idaho doctor can perform an abortion if the woman's health is at risk. All other instances, outside rape or incest, will still be illegal. People, of course, on both sides of this political spectrum are reacting to this decision. You know, a lot of people have a vested interest in this politically, professionally, and personally. News Channel 7's Abby Davis has a breakdown of what some political leaders are saying. Shortly after Judge Windmill's opinion became public, we received statements from the Idaho Democratic Party and the Idaho House Republican Caucus. Democratic Party Chair Lauren Nakachea wrote, I am relieved to see the court take this step to ensure that every Idahoan receives necessary medical care in an emergency. She then continues saying, every pregnancy is unique and Idahoans deserve leaders who will protect their freedom and make intimate decisions about abortion care alongside their doctors and loved ones. Republican Representative Megan Blanksma shared her disappointment with the decision, saying to protect the lives of as many of these children as possible, the Idaho legislature will pursue all legal means to bring this injunction to an end as quickly as possible. She continues saying the Idaho House Republican Caucus is confident that a lower or a higher appellate court will hold the federal administration's case to be without merit. Now, an injunction is one thing, but there's still a lawsuit playing out Former Idaho Attorney General Dave Leroy says Judge Windmill's decision is a pretty good indicator about which way it could go. In issuing this ruling today, he's saying that there's a high likelihood that the federal government will prevail and there's a potential for substantial injury uh, to women or to medical operations uh, if it does not come out the way he has ruled. So in effect, he is hinting just a bit that he is likely to rule that the federal law is supreme and the Idaho statute uh, doesn't apply in an emergency room context. The United States Department of Justice also released a statement tonight. Attorney General Merrick B. Garland reiterated their argument that Idaho's law violates EMTALA, saying the Department of Justice will continue to use every tool at its disposal to defend the reproductive rights protected by federal law. And once again, in the first time in nearly 50 years, almost all abortions in Idaho will be illegal as of midnight. Morgan and Brian. Yeah, exactly, except for those narrow exceptions. Yeah, I think it's worth pointing out, this isn't an, a pause on this entire trigger exactly ban. this is just on that one piece and going forward as you heard David Leroy say they can rule on this lawsuit just on that little piece right. as well right so. but it's still of course playing out all right Abby yeah. Davis thank you officials at Planned Parenthood also reacting to the judge's ruling today CEO Alexis Johnson released a statement saying quote anti-abortion lawmakers want to control our lives our bodies and our futures while the abortion ban will take effect tomorrow this ruling means Idaho cannot ignore federal law and that, and that includes ensuring people can still receive abortions in hospitals and emergency situations. Planned Parenthood applauds this effort by the Department of Justice and looks forward to ongoing action from the Biden administration to protect our rights, health, and bodily autonomy.